What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. We're back again today for another game review. And today, we're very excited to be checking out Space Planets from Haba Games. This is for two to four players, ages 6 to 99. I'd say it's taking about 10 to 15 minutes to play. And what are you going to be doing in Space Planet, Sean? Um, um, going on the planets. You are going to be rolling dice and traveling to other planets. But it's not that easy, though, because you have to spend fuel to get to the planets, don't you? You're going to have to use these fuel crystals to get to different planets, and you're going to be trying to be the first person to get to five different planets, at which point that will trigger the end of the game. It is a lightweight family-slash-children's game, but is it good? Let's open it up, and we'll tell you what we think about it. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Space Planets. First and foremost, we're going to have a handy-dandy rule booklet. You're going to need, uh, let's see, the first three, four pages. They're double-sided, full-color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done. Should have you up and running in no time at all. So big thumbs up on the rule booklet. So in Space Planets, you are going to be rolling this die and trying to get it to land on these various different planets. Then you're going to pay fuel to travel to those planets. Planets, and then you collect the planets in order to get victory points. The first person to get to five planets is going to trigger the end of the game, at which point you're going to count up how many victory points you have from the planets, and you can also gain some victory points for how many fuel crystals you have left over. What am I talking about? I'll show you the components, then we'll get into the gameplay. So I mentioned these, we'll go over them real quick. These are fuel crystals. You will need these to get to various different planets. How many fuel crystals do you need to get to the various different planets? Well, it all depends on how you roll this D6 die. It's a standard D6, it's either gonna have one, two, or three fuel crystal cost to get to that planet. So for instance, if you landed like this, you would have to pay two fuel to get to this planet. You landed like this, you would have to pay one fuel to get to that planet. So how far away the different planets are, how much fuel they're going to cost, is going to be dependent on how you roll the die. Also, you're going to have your own little spaceship right here, which has some very nice looking artwork. And when you first start the game, you're going to start off with four crystals. So you'll immediately be able to go to any of the planets that you were able to roll on. Now let's take a look at some of the different planets. The important things to note about the planets are right here. This is how many victory points you'll get at the end of the game for the planets. So they go, I believe, between one and four victory points. And then also down here, sometimes they'll have special abilities on them. So for instance, this one, when you land on this planet, lucky enough, you find fuel, which means you actually get to add two fuel back to your ship. So once you pay the cost to get here, you take this card, you get two fuel, and then you would put a new card down and you would leave this card in front of you to symbolize that you have these victory points and also potentially triggering the end of the game. Now the next one that came up is there's quite a few of these. This is a black hole. You do not want to land on this. This is the only one you don't want to land on and there's numerous ones of these in the deck over there because this will immediately end your turn. You don't get to do anything, blah blah blah. You don't want to land on those. Now what do you do on your turn? Well from outside of the ring of cards, I guess the square of cards, you're gonna roll and then you're gonna try to land on one. So for instance I landed right there if I choose to, I can either A, pay three fuel and take this card, put it into my collection, which means I now have three victory points and I'm one step closer to ending the game, or I could refuel on this planet. Uh, or I'm not exactly sure how that works, but instead of taking the planet, I could just take three fuel crystals. Generally, you're not going to do this most of the time unless you're, uh, you're out of crystals or you can't afford to go there, which can happen sometimes. So let's just say we take this, we're going to put this in front of us, and we would have to spend three fuel crystals. Boom, just like that. Uh, there's also a bunch of other symbols on here. We'll go over a couple more of them. Uh, so this one right here is going to make it so that you're able to re-roll the die again. So essentially take another turn. Uh, we already talked about that one. That one will allow you to just gain crystals when you go there. Uh, this one will let you gain one fuel crystal when you go there. Uh, th this one will make it more expensive for everyone else uh, the next turn to go to a different location. So they're going to have to travel a little bit more. There's one on here. Yeah, this one will make it so that uh, it's going to cost you one more fuel to travel to this planet because it's very far away. But as you can see, it's worth four victory points. So there's going to be a variety of different uh, planets in the game. They, you're going to see a lot of them. They're very repetitive, but there still is some nice variety there. So what happens if you don't? successfully land on the board. Let's say you land over here. Well, that is unfortunate because you don't get to do anything. Your turn is over. So anywho, you're going to continue on until someone has five planets in front of them, at which point you're going to tally up the number of victory points on your planets in front of you. And you're also going to get one victory point 
per, per two fuel you have in front of you. Whoever has the most victory points will be the winner of Space Planets. Oh, wrong box. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. All right, then. Space Planets from Papa Games. What are our final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, two to four players. Er, very restrictive player count. What don't you like about the game, Sean? Is there anything you don't like about the game? Um, I don't like when you go on the black. <laughs> You get sucked into those black holes, you lose your points, you don't get your, your turn ends, you don't get any gas, you don't get any victory points, you don't get any cool special abilities, so going into those black holes does stink. Another thing some people might not like is the dexterity element to this game. This game is purely dexterity, you're going to be rolling the dice to get on those planets, aren't you buddy? And if you miss, you miss, so that does kind of stink. But easy, you can easily modify the rules to have a more level playing field. Let kids scoot up, you scoot back, do whatever you want to do it. And honestly, I've had some fun playing this with adults as well, but we'll talk more about that in the pros. Uh, any other cons we have with the game? Is there anything else you don't like about the game? Um, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know either. Aside from the player count, the dexterity element might not be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, oh, I wish there was a little player reference card that showed you what all the different symbols on the bottom of the cards meant, on the bottom of the planets meant. Oh, buddy. But that's more of a minor nitpick. But moving on, space planets. Do you like space planets, Sean? Yeah. I like space planets, too. What's your favorite thing about space um, planets? I, my favorite thing is um, I'm going on these planets. By rolling the dice to get on the planets? You're a lot better at that than I am, aren't you? Yeah, Daddy misses the planets quite a lot, don't I? Yep. Sometimes that happens, though. Well, uh, yeah. well, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's all for fun. But I do enjoy a lot of different elements to this game. The artwork, do you like all the pictures in the game, buddy? And some of the, the planets look pretty silly. Some of them look like they have dinosaurs on them. Some of them look like they have crazy creatures on them. I definitely like the art. And some of them look like they... There's silly, silly, silly snakes on these on these grass planets. Yeah, there's silly, silly, silly yeah. snakes on the grass planets. Uh, Component-wise, the art, you know, we already talked about the artwork. Do you like the little gas crystals? Do you think those look yeah. pretty neat? Yeah, yeah. Those are definitely pretty neat. Yeah. The dice and is nice. Well, I pretend they're gas. You pretend they're gas? Sit up, buddy. So there's a lot to like about this game, and, and I think it's an easy recommendation. Uh, do you think we should recommend this game to the people out there, all the kids out there? So if you're in the market for a game that's two to four players, that's the biggest downside to this game is the fact that it is at a restricted player count. I definitely think this is a good one. Now, another thing I like about this game is the fact that this is not the kind of game that kids are going to grow out, outgrow in a year or two. I feel like this game definitely has some legs due to its dexterity element. You can scoot further back, and, and that's always a good thing. I, I would love to see maybe some expansions in the future with more plants. I know Haba typically doesn't do expansions, but it is something that I would like to see because there's still plenty of room in the box. Great artwork, great components, small, compact, portable, good price point. Overall, Space Planets from Hava Games is yet another rock-solid children's family, and yes, I would even say uh, gateway-esque dexterity game from Hava Games. So, anything else you want to tell people about Space Planets? Should they go buy it yeah. for their kids? Absolutely. I am in full agreement. So, if you enjoyed this video, please turn to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, what's your favorite fruit? What's your favorite fruit, Sean? Uh, uh, apple. Apples? Green apples, yellow apples, red apples? What kind of apples? Yeah, um, all, all sorts of rainbow apples. What about those spoiled brown apples? Yeah. You like those ones? Yeah. You like the spoiled apples that we find on the ground at the apple orchard? Yeah. Yay, those ones are gross. For me personally, I like bananas the best, but not green bananas. Uh, those are only for bad Yeah, people. there's a little fun fact for you. Who eats green bananas? Bats. Bats like green bananas better than they like yellow bananas. We found that out at the zoo, didn't we? Yeah. But. Well, well, well. Uh, um, we should go. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be really. It's going to take longer for me to get down at the line or two. So. Yeah? Um, um, we should play that flippy yep game again sometimes. The non, and we don't drink in that game, do we? No. No, we just flip cups. Not that kind of flippy cup. Uh, but as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! See you tomorrow! <laughs>